Newcastle, the second city of New South Wales, was also served by trams. A network of steam lines was mostly electrified in the 1920s. To the end of operations in 1950, the trams were painted in olive and fawn colours, a paint scheme replaced in Sydney by green and cream in the mid-1930s. The city terminus at Newcastle was at Parnell Place. A tram leaves the terminus for Wall's End, crosses Zara Street and approaches Telford Street. At Pacific Park in Hunter Street East, inbound in Scott Street alongside the railway. Outbound trams normally ran via Hunter Street and inbound cars via Scott Street. Continuing along Hunter Street. Newcastle had a fleet of 98 trams, all of them footboard cars of the LP class. The depot for Newcastle was in Hamilton, with access from the main line in Tudor Street via Gordon Avenue. At the depot, a sprinkler car, passenger trams and the breakdown tram. Also, these hearse vehicles, unique to Newcastle, which were towed behind ordinary trams for funerals. Operated in Newcastle as well as in Sydney were sprinkler cars used to water roadways before the days of road sprinklers. The shot which follows is the only available film taken from a sprinkler car in Tudor Street, Hamilton. We continue towards Wall's End. to cross the railway at Broadmeadow. The double track was reduced to single to pass beneath the Lambton Colliery Railway Bridge. Lambton cutting, trams outbound and inbound near Jesmond. Walls End Line trams crossed railway tracks on the level at New Tunnel Crossing. These locations are shown on the map which accompanies this video. Trams shared a railway alignment at Cooperative Junction. Walls End Terminus, after the line had been shortened slightly, owing to bridge subsidence. Now we visit the Merriweather Line, starting at Derby Street Junction. This is an inbound tram. Bar Beach, inbound. Turning out of Mitchell Street, inbound. Ridge Street, two inbound trams. A tram arrives at Merriweather Beach. A Glebe Line tram turns out of Hunter Street at Union Street Junction. Cook's Hill Fire Station. Union Street and Glebe Road. Between Railway Street and Glebe Road. Glebe Terminus. A tram departs for the city. On the Adamstown line heading towards Adamstown in Brunker Road. Adamstown Shopping Centre at the Glebe Road corner. Adamstown Terminus. About to leave Parnell Place for Waratah, Newcastle's last tram route. On ballasted track approaching Curley Road near the showground. Turning into Curley Road beside the old Broadmeadow Aerodrome. Australia Road Bridge, the Waratah line was the last to close because of the work required to strengthen this bridge for buses. 
end of the double track at Boreas Road, a coupled set climbs Georgetown Road towards Georgetown. Ty Street Loop, a tram approaches Waratah Terminus. To end our review of the Newcastle tramways, we'll look at some extracts from a film made just after the Second World War, believed to contain the only shots of Newcastle trams in colour. Our main street is Hunter Street, named after an early governor of New South Wales. It has the easy atmosphere of a country town main street. The pace is leisurely. People stop for a yarn, and you meet folks you haven't seen for a while. This, then, is the story behind our city. Coal and steel and ships. The power of great machines and the labor of men. That is the pattern of our working days for us people of Newcastle.